Hi guys, it's me Robin and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be doing like an organise with me kind of video. Just like going through all of the clothes in my wardrobe. So this is my wardrobe. Um, it's like a triple one, it's got three doors. This isn't where I keep all my clothes, I have a lot of other clothes around the place. But I'm going to be going through the ones in my wardrobe. But yeah, let's just get straight on with this video. <laughs> very aware that I look like a mess. I know, okay, we get it. No, uh, spot just came up today, so that's lovely. Had to chuck my hair up. If you're wondering where this t-shirt's from, it's from I Saw It First. There is a video either coming very, very soon or it's already up on my channel, which is an I Saw It First tour. There's actually two parts to it because it was so big, but yeah, make sure to check that out. So, I literally don't know where to start. I'm just gonna open this wardrobe. I'm gonna move you so you can actually see inside it. Right, I have a bit of a problem where like, I have like this much room, sorry for the scissors down. <laughs> I have like this much room between my wardrobe and my bed, so you're just gonna have to stay there. Um, right, so the first thing I have, you know what, I think I'm just gonna show you the inside of my wardrobe really quickly, just because it will make everything I'm saying make so much more sense. So, ah, so this is the inside, and I have a shoe rack down there. So basically, that is the length of two of my wardrobes. Yeah, so that is the length of two of my wardrobes. So I just have this space down the side, which is the length, the width, sorry, of one of my wardrobes. Oops. Um, and that's where I put all like my longer clothes and like my bags and stuff. So, I'm gonna move you back there again. Right, the first thing that I have are these trousers. So, I'm not gonna talk you through everything obviously, because this is kind of like a clean with me, but I got these from, if you know the YouTuber Sid and Al, these were actually Sid's, and I bought them off her Depop, so love them, and yeah, I'm going to keep them because I love them, they're just going in the long section because they're like trousers that can't be folded, I don't really wear trousers very often unless they're jeans, so I don't have like a section for trousers in my wardrobe, um, and then the next thing's just like this dress, this is just like a long, long, long dress, for like occasions where I need to look a bit smarter so yeah and then I've got this whole coat hanger full of like maxi dresses and honestly this is the cutest thing in the world but it's so see-through and I don't know if I should just get rid of it it was one of those five pound ones from pretty little thing it's in a size six and it's just this like completely um bodycon maxi dress but it's so cute and I mean maybe I'll wear it like with some things under it like somehow and then yeah so there's basically just loads and loads of maxi dresses here these are like more summery ones and then I have this just plain black one here um yeah another maxi dress again I just this is where I keep all my longer things but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep all of these right see this I'm not sure about I'm not really too keen but I didn't buy it that long ago so I think I'll just keep it because you know an occasion might come up high neck long sleeve really really long dress and yeah i'm not sure about this i've literally worn it once and i didn't really like it it's ridiculously long first of all i think if something's high neck and long sleeves it can be short it doesn't have to be long i mean maybe i'll just put that back in there for now but yeah and then i have these two like jumpsuits these are the only two that i actually own this lovely one which I wear all the time, this is from H&M, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then this one, I think it's also, yeah, this one's also from H&M, the divided section. And it's actually so cute. If I can find a photo of me in it, I'll insert it, because I love it so much. But yeah, so, that's like cut out. And yeah, just long legs. <laughs> love that so much. Right, and then it comes to like coats, but this is like the coats that I can still have in summer. Well, not summer, we're kind of going back into autumn now. But I basically, all my like big long coats, because I have a thing for big fluffy long coats, they're all in the top half of my wardrobe with all of my bags and like fluffy winter things are up there as well. So these are just the coats that I would wear in spring, summer, autumn, not winter. This one is gorgeous. This is from Misguided. I've actually only worn it a few times. But it's stunning. I find it really hard to find things to wear it with because, or like places to wear it to, because it's quite like dressy. Um, 
but yeah i do really like it it's just this little fluffy gilet thing and honestly love it so much that was a birthday present to me oh my god right so this is just a fluffy jacket this is just gray fluff ball it's actually in a size small i would have i normally get coats a size up but yeah this one's a size small and it's from primark got fluffy hood as well i honestly adore it i wear this throughout the whole of winter i'm not even joking you and then this i want to say it's from zarful or Shein. Shein, sheen but yeah it's just this fluffy white sheep coat thing um that borg borg is it called borg material and it's fluffy on the inside and the outside so that's honestly a staple for winter comfiest thing in the world and then we get so that was like the coats more like coaty things this is now like jackets so this is the first one this is also from primark this one's in a size 10 because i mean as i said i size up in things like this it's the most beautiful thing ever i got this from my nan for christmas and how gorgeous is that yeah so keeping that right this is a really oversized did i say that, that coat was from primark i'm not sure if i said um this is also from primark i believe what's denim co I, yeah i think that's from primark it doesn't actually say inside but um this is just a black really oversized um jacket this is in a size 12 just because i wanted it oversized and it's just like long black denim jacket basically nothing too special there and then i have this this is honestly probably my favorite denim jacket yeah the back is completely ripped out yes you saw that correctly love it so much so you can see what you're wearing like underneath it so if i was wearing red you could see it through there i love it um this was from zarful and honestly it's so cropped i just i love things like that and i mean you'll see now i have way too many jackets so i do need to get rid of a few and i think i'm gonna get rid of this one um this is from h&m i haven't worn it in about three years so yeah that is why i'm getting rid of it i do like it like i really like it it's literally the same as that other one i showed you but the denim version but i literally don't wear it like at all um if i do decide to put any of these things onto my depop then i will link it below but yeah i don't think i'm going to keep that and then the next thing is this this is also from zarfo it's just a blue denim jacket really cropped again just like the white one but not so ripped at the back it's just like distressed um love that so i'm keeping that one this is the denim jacket that i've honestly worn more than any item of clothing in my life so i wear this all the time it literally goes with everything it's just this like washed out black denim jacket but it's from six silk they don't actually sell it anymore and i'm obsessed with it so it says like six silk on the back I don't actually know. England established Six Silk Movement 2012. I don't know. It wasn't made in 2012, though. Um, I know that they have taken it off their website, though, but they do have a blue one on that's very similar to this, but it's full length. So, as you can see, this one is cropped. I love my cropped denim jackets. I got this in a size small, and if you're wondering, I am around a size 8 in, like, clothes. So, yeah, these are the sizes I get based on that. Right, and the next, this is from Primark. I love this. Oh, it's very funny on the hanger. Camo denim jacket, love it. Right, so yeah, I am definitely keeping that because love it so much. I wear that all the time with like, I have this white cord and I honestly wear that with it all the time. And then next up, I already know I'm not keeping this, like just from looking at it. So this is just a like, I don't even know what to call this, like a denim shirt, I guess, but I never wear it. I used to wear this all the time with like a white um, vest top on underneath it and I loved it, but it's a size six. I'm not sure it would even fit me anymore. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of does, but it looks a bit tight. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to keep that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to have to move on to the next like wardrobe now. So I'm just gonna move you back. Right, so the next thing is this denim jacket. This, honestly, I'm not keeping this because, ugh, why do, my hair looks disgusting. Let's just ignore how I look today, please. Um, 
I just had to get a video in this week and I was not up to putting makeup on, so sorry about that. This is just a really, really tiny black denim jacket. Honestly, it might look like it would fit me, but trust me, it does not fit. I put it on and it is the tightest thing I've ever put on in my life, so I'm not keeping that. <laughs> and then the next thing is this, I was going to say denim jacket again. This is a leather jacket, um, faux leather from Primark. And... I love this. I don't actually wear it nearly as much as I should. This is in a size 12. Wow. Oh, I probably got it to be a bit, bit oversized because I hate when like leather sticks to you. I hate that feeling. But yeah, so I'm keeping that 100 million percent because I love it. And then this is another blue denim jacket. I have a lot of denim jackets. Let's just say that. The fact that I'm throwing away three and I won't tell the difference. Wow. Um, but yeah, so this is just blue denim jacket. I used to only have this one and that black six silk one. And I had to wear this in the summer, but I don't think this, like, what is it called? Is it Borg? Borg material? I don't think that it works in the summer. It's more of like a transition. So, like, from autumn to winter, you know, winter to spring. <laughs> I love it though. I think it's gorgeous so I'm definitely keeping that and now we are off of jackets and onto dresses I think this is so this might confuse you a bit but yes this is a dress <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to wrap it all up because it's really weird so um, I'm not sure about this one so basically it doesn't open like that it crosses over but from where it's all wrapped around you won't be able to see I mean the tag is still on I haven't even worn it um, Maybe I'll just give that to one of my friends because I'm not keen. And then this is the next dress. I bought this for a party a couple of months ago and it didn't happen. The party didn't happen. So I haven't even worn it because it's just, I, I'm not keen. So basically, the um, I was going to say the, the dress code. Well, it kind of is dress code, isn't it? Um, she said, well, make sure what you wear is either glittery or silky. So I got this like satin dress. It actually looks really nice on camera. Um, the neck's just a bit funny though. Like it all fits a bit weirdly. And I mean, I don't really know if I would actually wear it. But yeah, so it's just this like satin kind of mini dress. But it's not like really short. It's like a reasonable length. Like that is me holding up my arm as high as I can possibly get it. And then this is the back. Don't know if you'll be able to see. But it like crosses over. If you can see yeah like that and it's actually stunning so maybe i will keep that but i just i don't know if it looks very good on me at all and then this one so this is just a black long sleeve not high neck this time um mini dress i say mini like it's bodycon but i don't think it's mini it's kind of like a in between like that goes down to my knees holding it up like that so it's not like a mini dress but again this still has the tag in it clearly got this last year because i got a size six if i got this this year i'd have got an eight um but yeah i mean i think i will keep that just because you never know the occasion might come up where i need a black long sleeve dress this i wear all the time i'm not throwing this away there are no doubts about it this is from H&M, it's just this black like mini dress, um, strappy thing, and I don't even know what that says, original, yeah it just says original loads, down both sides, I love it, this I am keeping, this is stunning, god I don't need any more dresses do I, so this is just a black dress from the front, business in the front, it's kind of her neck as well, so yeah business in the front, party in the back, so this is mesh, and it's gorgeous, because oh, I love it and it feels so nice and then it just says six silk around here there's a hole both sides as well i'll insert a picture if i can find one of me wearing it because that is stunning and then this one Ooh. i actually bought this for an occasion like a couple of years ago um from miss selfridge it is a size six and i'm not even sure if it fits me anymore but it's basically just this little play suit because I didn't like wearing dresses back then and it's just like shorts obviously play suit and then this is like a little add-on bit um I really like it I, I think I'll keep this for like occasions because it's quite smart um maybe like a wedding guest or something I don't know um yeah I haven't worn that since like the occasion that I got it for but 
you never know. And then this is useful to have, you know, little black dress, everyone always says, useful to have, little strappy thing. It doesn't come too low cut, it's just like this, and it's really silky, it's a really nice material. Bought this in lockdown, so again, still has the tag on it. Got it in a size six, wow. Maybe I didn't buy it in lockdown. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't had a chance to wear this, but I do absolutely love it. This was one of those pretty little thing, five pound dresses. Honestly, so worth your money, love them. And yeah, you just gotta make sure not to go for the white ones because they're always see through. This is the dress that I wore to my first party ever. And um, it's a pretty little thing, size six, just this high neck dress, um, black. Again, I have a lot of black dresses and it's just got these two little cut out things here. Like, <laughs> if you can see, like that. And I mean, this is probably quite useful to have. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that. And then these two, a bit funny, because I would actually wear them as skirts now, but yeah, these are dresses. The fact that I can fit them in the screen shows that they're way too short. But yeah, both from Pretty Little Thing, both size six. Oh no, hang on a minute. Um, this one is from Boohoo. This one is from Pretty Little Thing. I actually prefer this one, but I would wear it as a skirt now rather than a dress, because I feel like that would be quite a nice little midi skirt, um, if it fits me okay then that would be nice. I think this one's a bit too baggy because this one's size eight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one's size eight, so I don't think I'd be able to wear that as a skirt, it'd be quite loose. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep them to wear as skirts rather than dresses because trust me, I will not be wearing them as dresses ever again. <laughs> I wore them on holiday, by the way, so it doesn't seem quite so bad. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Most of my things are from Pretty Little Thing. This beautiful little dress, I love it. I mean, I keep saying beautiful, you're probably thinking that is just a black dress ribbon. But high neck, low sleeves, and just t-shirt dress. It's not tight to your body. So gorgeous, love it. This is from Pretty Little Thing, and it says Pretty Little Thing on it. <laughs> high neck, long dress. So this is, I bought this for a concert, I think, did I? And this goes like past my knees, but I like rolled it up a bit because it was also boiling hot that day. Um, yeah, I honestly absolutely adore this. Comfiest thing in the world. So I'm keeping that. Oh wow, this next thing is a no. What is that? So this, from Pretty Little Thing, haven't taken the label out, size six. What the hell? Why did I, it's like, not even a mini dress. What even is this? It's like, okay, again, goes past my knees but like just past, so it's probably on my knees, so it's a bit of an awkward length. Really low cut, um, that's not really acceptable, and very, very see-through, look, you can just see the tag, and my hand. Woo! Um, yeah, I think I'll be throwing that one away. I think I bought this, because we go to this like festival each year, um, and I was gonna wear this because I wanted to wear something more like neon to like stand out because like you know with the face paint and everything but yeah I didn't wear that so <laughs> I'm not gonna keep that and then these are just maxi dresses I'm not gonna bother taking them down because it's just a grey and a black maxi dress and yeah that's all they are they're from H&M and I'm keeping them because they're amazing Again, yeah, I have to roll them up because I didn't want to put them at the back. I can't remember why I didn't put them at the back. That would have made a lot more sense because that's why I put my long things. But anyway, they'll just stay there. So these next three dresses. So these are all from a shop called AliExpress. Um, this is the first one. It's a dupe of an O-Poly dress and doesn't do justice off, but it looks really nice on. This is the next one. This, oh my God, I can't get that one out of the way. This one is stunning, I love it. Oh, look at that ruched detail. So yeah, this is from a website called AliExpress. Um, all three of them are, and they're beautiful. I do have a Opoly dupes haul on my channel if you don't want to check that out. I did film it about three months ago when I first got my channel though, so it's probably a bit embarrassing. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like a midi dress. And then this one, it's like snake skin. I'll insert a photo of me in each of them if I can find it. But yeah, this is gorgeous and it's like tie up at the back. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping those three because they're gorgeous. 
And then this is from H&M. This is in a size 10. Oh, so it's slightly bigger and slightly longer than a size 8 would have been. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it so much. It's so thick, so I'm keeping that. I'm not very good at throwing things out, if you can't tell. This is the comfiest t-shirt dress in the world, but I never wear it, ever. So, I'm not sure if I should keep this or not. This is from H&M. Maybe I'll put that in, like, my pyjama drawer. And then this is just, again, t-shirt dress. I love t-shirt dresses. This is from Boohoo. This says abode on the front. Don't ask me what that means, because I don't know. And then it has like this at the bottom. So this is actually bought off the Boohoo Man section, but anyway. Um, and then it says a road on the back and I love it because I love like t-shirt dresses that have something written on them. Hence the NASA one as well. <laughs> this is the last t-shirt dress in there, I think. This is slightly tighter t-shirt dress. So I actually bought this for traveling on the plane. This is from Boohoo, size small. Honestly, this is the comfiest thing in the world. So I wore this like, two holidays running I'd say on the like just for the flight comfiest thing in the world as you can see most of my stuff's like pretty little thing H&M and Boohoo um this is H&M it's just like this little dress I haven't actually worn it out yet but it just like buckles up around here so you can tie in your waist and yeah you know when people were like going through that trend where you'd wear like a high neck um long sleeve top under dresses like this I bought it for that reason but then oh no I have worn it I've worn it once um yeah I went to dinner and I just bought this today so I was like oh I'll just put that on that I am keeping so I haven't got the wear out of it yet this is also from H&M bought it at the same time I love this it's just this camo dress I'll insert a photo of me wearing it if I can find one the zip up at the back honestly I didn't know it had the zip at the back the first time I bought it because I originally got it in a size 8 and then I was like right how do you get this on didn't know there was a zip there went and changed it for the 10 which is this one now found the zip so yeah that's useful um i don't know how i missed that but yeah this is gorgeous i like that a lot so i'm keeping that and then this is the next thing so this is just like what do they call it i don't know i'm gonna say play suit but it's not called that it's like a boiler suit um it's shorts though the boiler suits are longs aren't they again it has this like buckle up detail here Ah, which like ties you in at the waist a bit um if i can find one i'll insert a photo don't know if i have one but yeah i think this is just so stunning i love it so much love the zip down here so you can actually choose how like how much boob you get out you know how much boob how much cleavage you get out <laughs> um yeah i love that and then the next thing as you can see i tend to put more than one thing on a hanger but yeah so this is the first dress i wore this in a recent video of mine pretty little thing Oh, by the way, that was from Misguided, that um, little play suit thing. These are just these two little play suits. So this is the blue one. Very flowy. However, it's very, very short and very, um, what's the word? Low cut. And then this one, definitely a holiday play suit. I mean, I wouldn't wear that in England. But yeah, so like that play suit that I had earlier, it has like all this detail on it that like, flaps over if you get what I mean so this kind of looks like a skirt because that is the shorts and then it has this that goes over it it's from Pretty Little Thing except I cut out the label um, but yeah I love this so much again it's quite low cut so I found myself pulling it up a lot of the time um, but yeah I love both of these so much I took them both on my most recent holiday and love them honestly they are so lovely and then this next thing isn't actually mine it's my friend well it is mine now but it was my friend's it's just this like little flowy dress this is from h&m probably so many years ago though yeah she grew out of it so she gave it to me but it's just got this like stretchy bit at the back as well so cute but i never wear it so i'm gonna get rid of that right and then i've got these three play suits these are all from h&m so this is the first one just this red flowery one it's the exact same print as the maxi dress that i showed you before and then i've got this one which is again the exact same print as the maxi dress but play suit form these are all the exact same play suit in different colors and then this plain black one so i am going to keep them because i wear them all throughout the whole of summer especially last year i was wearing them so much and then this next thing i already know i'm gonna throw it away because i tried it on once and i do not like it this is again from the same friend that gave me that dress it's a play suit right and it's quite it's quite cute i mean oh it is quite cute 
I don't know. Right, so it ties up here. Obviously, I've tied that really ugly. It wouldn't look like that. But then it has this massive open bit at the stomach, and I'm not sure about it. But yeah, I'm. this is probably from H&M as well. I'm not actually sure. But yeah, this is... I mean, it's quite nice, but I'm not sure about the print. I don't know. Maybe I will just keep it and see if an occasion turns up. But yeah, that is the end of, like, dresses and play suits. So I need to open this last cupboard. I keep having to, like, change the angle. This drawer this drawer this door doesn't open any more than that and my bed's there so i can't put you there really annoying but anyway so this is the next thing so this is a top i went to a festival last year and i completely forgot my clothes and it is a three night thing so i had to buy some clothes and i got this i was literally so lucky i had to just get anything i could buy love this can't tell you where it's from because it's just one of those places you know those little like stands that you can go to yeah it's from one of them but I do like it. I haven't actually worn it since. <laughs> um, kind of reminds me of like a little jellyfish. But yeah, I do like it. Next, I have like a hundred little tops here. So the first one is from Zarful. Love it. I'm keeping that. This second one is from H&M. Again, I'm keeping that. Honestly, it's gorgeous. This third one is from Primark. And it's just this lace thing and I love it. This one, however, is also from that friend <laughs> that gave me the other stuff. Probably from H&M. Little tie up at the back. And I'm not keen on the print again. I mean, well, I do like it, but I don't think it would suit me. Maybe I'll just keep it anyway. This wardrobe clear out isn't going too well. I've literally thrown away like five things. But then, right, so this top is from H&M. It's like, it's quite low cut, but it doesn't look low cut when it's on. Sorry, I just realised I was covering my mouth. Um, and then at the back, this is stunning. It's completely open and then you tie it up. I'm keeping that because it's so nice. And in a recent video of mine, it was a glow up video, I had this top, I just got it from, what's it called, Aliexpress, and yeah, I mean, it kind of, it's like Marmite, I mean, you're either going to love it or hate it, I'll insert a photo of me wearing it, but this kind of like covers, it goes across like that, and then you tie it up, but I feel like it kind of looks like metallic, I mean, I think I look like the Tin Man in it, so I'm not too sure about that. I don't think the sleeves are meant to come in like that, or if they are, I don't really like that detail. I thought it would be more, like, casual. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to get casual with this top, but you know what I mean? <laughs> and then this next top is the top half of a co-ord that I got from AliExpress. It's an Opoly dupe, so yeah. This is it, and it's just basically a plain white crop top, vest top thing. And it's ruched on the back, so you could actually wear that as the front. Also ruched... On the sides, but yeah, I love that. And the skirt is the exact same. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it. And then I have this bodysuit. Now, this is from H&M. And I actually got this because I was going to dinner with some of my friends. And they were like, right, dress up a bit. And I was like, um, right, okay then. I'm not a very dressy person. My dressy would be like jeans and a nice top. I mean, I don't know. I don't really wear dresses out much. Considering how many I have, I don't really wear them that often. And yeah, so I didn't want to wear a dress and I just got my belly button pierced so I didn't want the jeans to like rub on it because I just got it pierced that day. So I got this bodysuit so that it would stop it from like rubbing and honestly it was the best decision of my life because look at that. So it's like this diamond detail coming down here. I mean it's obviously not like real diamonds, crystally detail thing. Honestly it's stunning. And then this, what do they call it? Cow neck. But yeah, so it's just this bodysuit and it's actually really like high leg. So this is the bottom and it's quite high leg so it looks really good in jeans. Next top is basically that bodysuit in a top form. Let me just get it off of here. So it's just this cute little like little vest top thing. Again, cow neck and from H&M. It's that same like silky material. No diamonds up here though. But this was literally £4 and honestly I absolutely love it. Also from H&M and this is from my friend, the same friend that gave me all of that stuff. It's quite useful having her actually, she gives me all her old clothes and bikinis but yeah. This is just this glittery top and honestly I haven't found anywhere to wear this to yet but she bought this originally for like a glitter party kind of thing and then she didn't end up going but she gave it to me and... Yes, yeah, so this is a size extra small, so it's very, like, snug. But it has this zip at the back, and honestly, I think it's so cute. Like, that with some, um... Oh, no, I have worn this. I wore it to New Year's Eve. Um, that is a good place to wear this, actually, because that, with, like, I don't know, I would say leather trousers, but I don't actually have any. I love the look of things like this with leather trousers, though. Um, but I would have to wear it with just jeans, but honestly, 
That would look so cool. Maybe I'll purchase myself some leather trousers because I kind of want some now. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Yes, it looks very low cut, doesn't it? It's not that bad. Again, I did actually wear this to a New Year's Eve party as well. But, um, I mean, it's not actually that low cut because once your boobs are in it, it kind of comes to like here. So it's not too bad. It's really nice for like white jeans, actually. That's what I wore it with and love it. This is just this like little skirt. Um, I folded it up. It's a maxi skirt, but basically, if you can see, I'm not sure. So there is a skirt inside there. Yeah, you can kind of see it finishes here. God, sorry about the lighting, it's really bad. Um, there's a storm outside. But yeah, so the rest of this is all just mesh. And I mean, again, I'll insert a photo if I can find it because I don't want to undo it all. But yeah, I'm going to keep that. I'm literally keeping everything. See, this is my problem. I was going to do a wardrobe clear out. These are just three little maxi skirts. Black one from Primark. A blue one. A blue one? It's not blue. It's clearly not blue. A khaki one from Boohoo. And this pink one from Pretty Little Thing. I do actually have the top half of this set as well. But yeah, this is like double the length and a bit more of this because it's folded in half. So if you can like imagine how long that would be, it's like down here. So this is just a black mini skirt, you know, you need them. This is another black mini skirt, but from Pretty Little Thing. This one's from Primark. Primark one's better, I'm not gonna lie to you. Then I've got this skirt, which I never wear. I think I got given this. I don't know, this is from Primark, but um, I am never going to wear that. I think I'm going to give that to my sister, actually, right now. This, I know that I was given by someone. So I just can't picture myself buying it, but ignore the skirt on top. I'm going to show you that second. But yeah, so it's just like this little burgundy skirt, and it's actually too big for me. But again, it's got that, like, flap-over detail. It's, like, ruched here. But it's really baggy on me, and I don't know why. I don't know what size it is. Um, it's a size 8 from Boohoo. That should probably fit me. Maybe I'll keep that to try it on. But this is the bottom half of the AliExpress co-ord. So this is the skirt and it's really, really ruched. And it's like ruched, you know, that goes like into your bum. <laughs> that like, it shapes it really nicely. I sound so strange talking about this. It gives you a really nice figure, basically. And then I did this little shop at Pretty Little Thing where I was like, you know what, let's get loads of skirts. So I did that deal where you get like three for a fiver, I think it is. Um, I haven't worn any of these three, I'll be honest with you. This is like a sage green one, and I think the reason is because it's like see-through maybe. Oh no, okay, it's not actually see-through, so maybe I will keep these. Um, then I have this like charcoal grey, but I think it looks a bit like a school skirt. Like, it looks like I'm wearing a school uniform. But then, this is like a lighter grey one. I do actually really like this one. These are all in a size 6 from Pretty Little Thing. And they came as a pack. And I do actually really like them. So, yeah, I'm going to keep them. But then, these are the next ones. So, again, Pretty Little Thing. This is a pink one. Maybe it came in the same set as that one. I'm going to keep that, though, because I do like it. I, I like having loads of little mini skirts that I can wear, in summer especially. And then this is also from Pretty Little Thing. It's just, well, you can see what it is. I wore this in again, my Disney Princess video, what I'd wear if I was Elsa. Um, tie-dye. Is it tie-dye? Yeah, tie-dye skirt from Pretty Little Thing, probably a fiver. But yeah, I love that, so I'm keeping them. I can't actually remember where I got up to because my brother came in. But um, yeah, so the next thing... These two skirts, these are both from H&M and both in a size extra small, I think. So this one's in a size small, actually. But these are so nice to wear in winter with um, some tights on underneath and some, like, Chelsea boots. They look so nice. But yeah, so this is just black and white, like, checks with pink going through it. I mean, I don't really know how else to explain that from H&M. Probably about £10, I'm not going to lie. The skirts from there are a bit more expensive. Um, this one, however, is an extra small, fits me so much nicer, and it's grey, as you can see, but it's got, like, black and white crossovers on it, don't know how to explain it again, it's, like, basically checkered skirts, love them, so I'm keeping them both. Then next, I have these two skirts from Primark, um, these are leather skirts, again, faux leather, obviously, this is just, like, it's kind of like a nudie pink one, and on the back it has, like, a zip. <laughs> These I probably got in a size small. Um, 
Right, size six. I got both of these in. I don't know why I got six in leather, because leather is not stretchy at all. Yeah, I got six in both of those. And then, so this is the black one. Again, the zip at the back, they are both exactly the same. Um, yeah, I think I might just keep them. They come in handy with videos and things. And then this is the last item hanging up in my wardrobe. So things that aren't in the top or in any of my other drawers in the house. These are trousers. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, they're just wide leg, elasticated waist trousers and I had to get them in a size 10 because they didn't have them in any other size. But I will insert a photo of me wearing them because I know there is one of me. Insert a photo because I don't want to take them off. God, sorry, it's so windy outside. But yeah, these are the trousers and yeah, I'm going to keep them. So out of this whole video, I've literally thrown away like one, two, three, four, five, six things. I was expecting to throw away quite a lot more. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, you know what to do. Press the subscribe button if you aren't already. And also give this video a massive thumbs up because it would really help me out. And yeah, leave a comment if you'd like to see any more videos like this because I'd love to know. But I will see you in my next video. Bye!